Hello everyone, welcome to Audio Half Reviews. Today I'll be talking about the PS4 launch title Knack. Knack today is known for being very mediocre at best, to put it nicely, because before it came out it was kind of overhyped, at least by Sony. I don't know exactly what the audience thought, but they were kind of excited when they heard that it was inspired by things like Crash Bandicoot, God of War, Katamari, and well I know Katamari is very different. But uh, the the way the character is, you know, if you know the, if you know the character, you know what I mean by that. After the game was released, people said it was mediocre, like I said, or they just straight up said it was bad. They said it looked like a PS3 game. Said it didn't look very next gen, and reviewers just they just kind of destroyed it in a way. So it wasn't looking very good for Knack. So naturally, I decided not to pick up the game at first because if I heard it's not all that good, then why would I spend money on it? And, I mean, I didn't get a PS4 until, like, Christmas of 2015 anyway, but still, it was still a while before I actually played this game. Fast forward to summer of 2017. I had a lot of money at the time, and, well, you know, a lot for me anyway, and um, I decided to get PlayStation Plus, so that year I got a bunch of discounted games. And Knack was a few bucks, so I figured, well, if I'm going to try this sometime, I might as well try it while it's only a few bucks. So I had the game installed, and after trying out a few other games I'd gotten, I figured, well, I'll go ahead and play Knack, and I was going in expecting a very mediocre and repetitive experience, as a lot of people made me think it was. Well, color me surprised when I find that the game is actually kind of fun. Now let's get this out of the way first. No, it didn't really feel that much like a next-gen experience. It, it did kind of look like a PS3 game, although in some areas it does look like, you know, more of a next-gen thing. I think the PS4 power is more so in the way Knack is, where he's made up of like a bunch of little bits and pieces, and he can get bigger or smaller, and you know all these pieces can be on screen at once. I think that's more of what the next gen thing is, and I can see how that isn't really all that impressive. And to get more of the negatives out of the way, yes, this game can get a bit repetitive. I mean, it's it's kind of one of those things where you just bash mutton mutt. <laughs> You mash buttons to get the to win throughout all the levels. And the writing is not very good, to put it politely. Like, it, the way they do things, it's just you, you expect something big to happen, and then it doesn't happen. You expect something epic, and that doesn't happen. It just, it's not very good. But, even with all that, the game can actually be pretty fun. This is mostly a beat em up game, but with also some platforming and some puzzle elements, as most of these usually go. And hey, there's co-op in this game, like local multiplayer co-op. Now, I haven't actually tried it myself. I hear it's not very good, it feels kind of tacked on, but then again, a lot of people say this game isn't very good, and I found that it was, so I don't know if I can trust that as much, but who knows. I do also find it pretty interesting the way you can actually get really big by slowly collecting little bits of relics and stuff and Knack slowly changes his looks. Like, sometimes you're about the size of, well not really the size of Clank, but close to that. And then you can get to like monstrous size and that's that's really interesting. Uh, mostly for a little kid, but it's still pretty cool. And of course, as you get bigger, you get to defeat enemies better. And it's just, it's kind of a cool concept. Plus, if you want to, you can also, like, make yourself small again and have all those pieces scatter around, and then you can gather them back up. It's, it was, it was a pretty interesting idea at the time. And you do have different combos you can use, maybe not as many as there should be, but there are some combos in the game you can experiment with, and, you know, it's not just a button masher or a mutton basher, I guess. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong when I say all this, like, in such a positive way, because I don't think that this game is great, I just think it's a lot better than what people made it out to be. This isn't exactly a game that's highly replayable, like I've only played through it once and I haven't really come back to it yet, but there is some extra content you can do after playing through the story, but the story isn't something that I would just come back to over and over. Obviously, I've only played through it once, and that was back in 2017, so yeah. Well, that's not to say I won't come back to it. I probably will play through it again. It's just, you know, one of those games that I wouldn't play over and over. So overall, I think the game is fine. Like, it's a lot better than what people said. It's just not great. Like, if I were to give a review score, I'd probably say something 
Something between a 6.5 and a 7.5. So yes, I would recommend this game. Just don't expect the best experience, but don't expect the worst experience either. Knack definitely deserves more love than he gets. Well, that's all I've got to say about Knack for now. So uh, like this video if you like it, and subscribe if you want to see more of these or any other types of videos. Let me know in the comments what I should review next, whether it be a game, a movie, a TV show, uh, a band, some kind of music. Uh, probably not books, though. But anyway, thanks for listening.